Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. I'm Daniel. And if you've been watching this video series for a while, you'll notice that recently I switched from Windows Vista back to Windows XP. Now, the reason for this isn't because I didn't like Windows Vista. In fact, I kind of liked it. It's because I got a new computer over the holidays. Happy 2009, by the way and Windows Vista didn't fully support the drivers for it, so I had to revert back to Windows XP. Now, it's because of that reason that Vista has been a thorn in Microsoft's side ever since they released it. So, to make up for this, Microsoft's trying to hurry up and release another version of Windows called Windows 7, so, uh, so that they can get back into the favor of the public side. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download Windows 7, the beta version, and burn it to a DVD so that you can test it out. Now, let me emphasize that this is only for testing purposes. That's what beta versions of software are for. So don't plan on downloading this and installing it on your main computer as your main operating system. That would be a big mistake. So if you're going to use this at all, make sure you have a computer that you don't need and uh, you can use it only for testing. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you need to do, of course, is open up a version of Firefox and do a Google search for MuTorrent. And that should take you to their website where you can download the latest version. So go ahead and download it and install it to your computer. Go through the automated installation process and you'll notice that it has a, a little speed test that you can run. Now this is pretty helpful because it takes you to a website where you can see what your download and upload speeds are for your computer. And then once you have that, you can better determine what connection type you need to choose. And then once you have that chosen, just go to use selected settings and you're ready to use MuTorrent. Now what you need to do is go to a torrent searching website like IsoHunt or ByteNova and do a search for Windows 7. My favorite torrent website is called the piratebay.org. So I'm going to go there and do a search for Windows 7 and see how many results it pulls up. Now what you need to know about the results um, if you scroll over to the right hand column, you'll see an SE and LE section. SE is the amount of seeders, that's the amount of people sharing this file. So the more people sharing this file you have, the faster it's going to download. And as you can see, this is a trusted link, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it and click on download this torrent and then just open it up with MuTorrent. Now it should automatically start downloading. Now if you don't want to use torrents, another way of getting this is through a file hosting website called RapidShare. RapidShare itself doesn't have a way to search files, so you'll need to go to Google and type in Windows 7 RapidShare and just kind of scan through the different results until you get uh, one that has Windows 7 on it. And you'll see, you'll see, you see that this one has 13 different RapidShare files. So just uh, download each one of those RapidShare files one by one and you'll have the full thing. If you want to pay for an account for RapidShare, you can do that as well and it will download faster. Once all of it's downloaded, you should have an ISO file and what you'll need to do is download a program called DeepBurner and install it and you can use DeepBurner to burn that ISO file to a DVD. So I just opened up the ISO file and I'm clicking burn ISO file to burn it to a DVD. And whenever it's through burning, you should have a copy of Windows 7 burned to the DVD. And this is also a bootable DVD, so whenever you put it in a computer that you want to install and boot up that computer, it should start installing Windows 7. Now again, let me emphasize that you don't want to install this on your main computer. You want to install this only on a computer that you don't mind getting messed up um, and using it for testing purposes. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.